Hello gorgeous Aquarius, welcome to your weekly reading. I hope everyone is doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that Spirit would like to bring through for the week ahead. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading because this is how Spirit speaks directly to you. You may see a sign, a symbol, an image on one of the cards or one of the cards might resonate with your situation strongly. Take notice of these things that is Spirit speaking to you directly. Just take what resonates from the reading and leave what doesn't. So let's take a look at your first two cards. Clear Quartz. Get crystal clear. So I'm seeing that you're going to have clarity where there has been confusion. You're going to be crystal clear about a decision. You're going to be crystal, crystal clear about your direction. So if you have been feeling confused or dazed or stunned in any kind of way, um, procrastination or, or things just not getting done, things being uh, pushed to the side because there hasn't been clarity, um, issues being pushed to the side because there haven't been there hasn't been any clarity. Um, this week is is a really great time to get clear about these things, and there will be clarity. And you have another quartz as well, so that means that there is double the energy here for clarity. The Lumerian quartz practice patience. Um, so there might be something that you have been waiting on that you've been patient for. Um, but I'm seeing this roll in. I'm seeing this wish roll in for you very soon this week or sometime very soon from when you view this reading. So get ready for it. Get ready for this. It may be a huge surprise when it comes in in some ways, in some respects, but it is on the way. Um, I know and I can see that you've been practicing patience in some way, but um, yes, I see that wish or whatever it is for you um, rolling in for you very soon. Beautiful. Okay, let's take a look at this deck. Guidance for Aquarius, please, Spirit. This card here, I feel, is yours. Let light in. Let light in because there may be some darkness that surrounds you at the moment. May also be, have been an intention recently for you to let more light into a situation or your life. And with these two quartz energies here, it's to do with the clarity. It's to do with getting clear about something. Sit quietly in front of a window. Feel your breathing slow down as you focus on the breath of life. Gently close your eyes and ask the window, how do I allow light and love to enter my being? Sense the answer as a stirring, an illumination of your heart. Feel love and light pouring in as your favorite color. Imagine you fling open the window. A gentle breeze parts the curtains between your inner and outer worlds. Step into the light of your essence, love. Wisdom and bliss become you. Slowly open your eyes. Look through the window with new eyes and what do you see? You may like to actually do that. If this card resonates for you, then Spirit may be calling you to do this um, visualization and meditation to help you this week. Let's see what this deck reveals for you, Aquarius. This one here, which is about adventure. Dare to do things differently, manifest your travel dreams and move to a new location. So you might be moving. You'll know which of these resonates for you. Perhaps you're wanting to do things differently, but it's difficult in some ways. Well, you're moving towards it and you will be able to manifest your dream in this regard if it's to do with doing things differently in some way. And there may be something going on around travel in some respects in your life this week. And the card of action. Now is the perfect time to act. Take inspired action towards your dreams. Move forward with confidence. Move forward with confidence because, you know, you're going to, I see the light coming in here through the forest and 
Spirit's telling me that's connected into the clear quartz energy. So a light and illumination is going to be shining upon you this week. Um, a clarity is going to come to your mind and you're going to be moving forward. And you will be taking some kind of action toward your dreams. It is the perfect time to act this week with something in alignment with your dream, in alignment with the clarity that you receive. Take inspired action towards your dreams and move forward with confidence. I love it. Let's see what this deck reveals for you. This one here. So is the card of grace. Grace is going to flow in through you and around you. The grace of God, spirit, source, energy. That's what this is. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm also seeing grace as a name here. So it might be your name, um, spirit calling you directly, or it might be someone that you know or someone you're going to meet of importance this week. Letting the light in is going to allow this grace to take hold in your life. And that's exactly what you need at the moment. It's going to bring in, usher in a prosperity for you. And prosperity can be mean financial things and material things, but it can mean other things as well. Emotional things, connections might be related to work or business for you or something else. But there's a prosperity here that is lacking in your life. So that's where you, where you know um, what spirit is talking about, because there's a lacking in your life of something and spirit is wanting to bring that through. But it comes down to a choice of letting the light in consciously. So let's see what this deck reveals for you, Aquarius. Guidance for Aquarius. This one here. So it's the Ace of Cups. Okay. The Ace of Cups. A new beginning emotionally. You're starting off on the right foot with someone. Someone's going to be emotionally connecting to you uh, this week more than they ever have before. It might mean or indicate a new friendship, a new love interest, a new hobby interest or something going on in your work life perhaps where you feel an emotional connection to it. You feel passionate. It's almost a passionate thing. I know it's not a ones card, but it does almost feel like it's a passion. And this is death. So this is Scorpio's card. You may have a Scorpio around you, significant in your life. The death card indicates there's a need for an ending. A need for an ending. An ending may have happened recently. Someone may have passed, um, that is possible, but it's about transition. So something is going on in your life, which is requiring you to transition from one phase to another phase. And that indicates and means changes. And sometimes these changes can be difficult to move through and navigate. So it's about letting go of the old. It's about letting go of what you can't hold on to anymore because it's not natural. It's not right. It's not good if you hold on to this person, situation, place, memory, whatever it is that you're holding on to. There's a new emotional beginning for you coming in soon. Starting this week, actually, that you can build upon this energy. But you have to let go of whatever this death represents for you in your life. So we have the tower as well. The tower is a disruption. Something, something has shaken your foundations. It can mean that there's something going on that you didn't expect um, but something can 
possibly possibly have been broken down a relationship perhaps or maybe something happening in your workplace a relationship in in your workplace for example or maybe a friendship something has been broken down something will be broken down if it hasn't already been broken down and this week expect some fireworks expect some Expect something to break down. And this is necessary for a new start. This breakdown is necessary for something very positive and good to come from it. Because it's built on shaky foundations, this tower, this relationship, whatever this represents, whatever this tower is. There's definitely an ending that is going to be taking place. And it's necessary to take place in your life. So you can start this new beginning. So you can have a wish fulfilled. The Nine of Cups is about having a wish fulfilled. So in some way, you might actually have a wish fulfilled in regard to whatever's happening here with the tower, with the transition, with the death energy. There's some kind of transition, but also a wish being fulfilled. So this, a lot of the time, the Nine of Cups means that it comes after the trans, uh, transition. After this happens, then you will get your wish. You'll have mm, satisfaction emotionally. You'll find what you're looking for emotionally. And your final card for the week is the Seven of Wands. Standing strong against an enemy. You have negativity or difficult energy being thrown at you, that's for sure. And you really have to weigh up whether it's worth it, whether it's worth the fight or not. That's what you'll be weighing up this week. I feel that you will be, and I can see, that you will be making a decision, that decision, whether it's worth it or not to fight, that's going to, in fact, be in alignment with a new beginning and an ending of some kind. Okay, so this choice, this clarity, you're going to get some clarity around this energy, this person, um, what, who you were up against, what you were up against. So you can bring in, usher in this wish fulfilled card. Hmm, this wish fulfillment is on the way and that's what spirit wants you to know. So you have some amazing energies here. I see this wish dream rolling in for you very soon. There's some kind of action you need to take. There is something that needs to happen. Um, when you get some clarity, allow this light and clarity to to flow in prosperity is on the way um, don't be afraid to stand up for yourself set your boundaries don't be afraid to um, fight or stand up against someone negative or something like that whatever this is don't be afraid but you also have to weigh up whether it's time to fight or time to walk away and there's a transition here happening and that's going to usher in a new beginning and a wish fulfilled so very interesting Aquarius. I hope you have a fantastic week ahead and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.